All right, if you're floored by the price of paper, pencils, and clothes for the <laughs> school year, you're not alone. Wait till you have to buy the shoes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Inflation has been an issue for years now, but this pandemic era problem is now driving the cost of school supplies to an all time high. Brianna Wilson spoke to a local financial expert about why things are so expensive now, Brianna, and how you can actually try and cut down on some of those costs. That's right. So it's just like you said, this problem dates back to the pandemic when financial experts say our economy dropped and we pushed through with about $5 trillion in stimulus spending. We ended up with a lot more money than we had places to spend it and driving up the cost of pretty much everything, including school supplies. We know the pandemic changed a lot when it came to learning environments. During the pandemic, we know, of course, people did stock up on electronics. They adjusted to the norms of at-home and hybrid learning. Um, but that spending on electronics does, hasn't slowed since the you know, end of the pandemic. The National Retail Federation expects consumers to spend record amounts for back-to-school shopping this year. Consumers are expecting to spend about $25 more than last year to just under $900 on average and total spending is up about 13% to $41.5 billion. We asked you how much you spent on your kiddo school supplies this year. For some, school districts help cover the cost. Others spend over $100 not including clothes for school. One woman said she spent close to $300, and that was before tax-free weekend because it happened after school started this year. Other people were upset to miss out on those savings too. And it is so hard right now, and to give you a sense of this, know that one, you're not alone. So when we have, look at family across New Mexico right now, school supplies are prohibitively expensive. Associate yeah, professor yes. of finance at UNM, really Riley struggling. White says, if you haven't gotten your supplies yet, there are other ways to cut costs. Set a budget and stick to it. He also recommends not bringing your kids along. Kids can force you to buy things that they want rather than need. Do not be afraid to have serious talks with your children about what you can and cannot afford for school supplies. And White, who you just heard from, says he doesn't anticipate deflation or stuff getting cheaper happening anytime soon. So that gives people more time to make a plan and budget for the next school year. Tess, yeah. I know you're a parent, mm -hmm. probably feeling that pain too. Yeah, I had two to buy for this year. My secret was to just download the apps, shop around. I found like crayons, boxes of crayons for 50 cents at one point. So Good do your tips. homework, like you said. All right, Brianna, thanks for the advice there.